Is your personal information safe when you use Facebook and Google? Well, Amnesty International is warning that their surveillance poses a serious threat to human rights. The organization is calling for an overhaul of their business model in order to protect individuals. To help us understand that, I'm joined by the Media and Digital Content Officer at Amnesty International South Africa, Menka Statler. Thanks for your time. We appreciate it. So why should we be concerned? Because we've heard these warnings for a long time now. Yes, we are concerned because the ultimate business model of these organizations, Google and Facebook, is that um, they don't charge for their services. All of us use it for free. They, we don't get charged. But how they do make a lot of revenue, and let's be honest, it's huge amounts of revenue, is through targeted advertising and is through surveillance, really, mm -hmm. gathering people's data and selling it on to organizations uh, that use it for targeting, uh, targeting people, uh, you know, targeting people's um, what they see, uh, developing algorithms, and marketing certain ideas. And for us, that doesn't put human rights at the core of it, and that's what we want to see change. Yeah, because it is very scary. You search for something on Google and then you see all the adverts pop up. You, uh, some people are even saying that your phone is listening to you because when they talk about things that they want to buy, suddenly you see it. Do we know if that's actually happening and if that's at an advanced stage when it comes to how they monitor us? It's difficult to say whether that's actually happening. But yes, we all know that if you've Googled something and if you've even, it will even appear on Facebook as well, you can see the ads happening. And for us, it's not... Um, that people don't know necessarily that this is happening. It's more that we don't have a choice. Mm. We're not given a choice to protect our data at present. And that's why we're calling on these organizations to change their business model and to look at the way in which uh, data is used. And we're calling on governments to also uh, start uh, consultations and to really regulate um, the way that the data is used. Because it's about the right to privacy. It's about the right to freedom of expression. It's also stopping discrimination because some algorithms actually actually develop and they, they actually can work in such a way that they can cause discrimination and people, uh, you know, their interests with an echo chamber so people will hear only what they're interested in as opposed yeah. to seeing a variety of viewpoints, for example. And when Facebook and Google started about 15 years ago, going on 20 years ago, none of us knew that this is what it yeah. was about. And now we're starting to know and that's why we're calling for much, much better regulation and, and really to put human rights at the core of it. Yeah. So we can't obviously ask these companies to regulate themselves when they obviously using it to their benefit. Yeah. Let's talk more about the government's role across the world. In South Africa, our constitution protects our right to privacy. Yeah. So what role should our government play in making sure that that is not invaded? Exactly. So we are suggesting that consultations, that policy starts being developed, but it has to be very, con you know, with consultations with affected groups, with tech experts, with these companies themselves, to to get to solutions. Um, you know, someone asked us, yes, but oh, do you want them to charge for their services then? That's not what we're suggesting, but we are suggesting that we do need to look at a complete overall in the way that the internet is used and data is used. Again, we're not against technology. Uh, we need it ourselves as an organization to uh, talk about the issues that are important to us. But we're saying that we do, as humanity, because this is billions and billions of people mm. who are affected, we have to get together, and these are governments South African government, but governments all over the world do have to do consultations, policy development, and look at the best way in which people's privacy is, is um, protected, with their human rights are protected, but yeah. they can still use the technology. All right. Thank you so much for your time and your insight. We do appreciate it. That was Menke Statler, Amnesty International SA's media and digital content editor.